so with me with the control aspect because it's benefiting my ego I'm choosing not to see it okay so I, I, I want myself to feel safe and protected so I'm gonna stay with this because it's working for me but to my higher self this person is, is bad you know any person this is hypothetically speaking well this is partly true too <laughs> but it's this sort of uh, state of knowingness to where you see these, I don't want to say traps or uh, tricks of the enemy, but you see these things that, that are occurring in your life and you understand your feelings as, as, as it relates to these things that happen and how you react and how you internalize it, which is your emotions essentially. So um, yeah, so that's my life lesson is, is just utilizing my silent power and truly being uh, this empowered being means the self-aware person that that sees everything coming and can manipulate sort of the reality um, utilize creative power <laughs> source energy it, having direct communication with source energy and and your emotional state helps you that because that's the whole thing with this whole ego thing it's because you have to understand how it relates to the collective which is really source energy and so a lot of times we do have to ex have these sort of individualized experiences uh, of perception that's all that it is it's an individualized per experience of, 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 of perception because at the deepest core source just wants to experience this all every possibility, every option is thrown at us. So the way we choose to handle and respond to these things, how we choose to perceive it, how it affects our reality, how we create and manifest things and, and, and as it relates to that, it's all sort of relates and, and goes sort of in a straight line to me. Or not straight line, it's just very uh, working. <laughs> Portuguese you'd say juntos, it's just like together. So. Uh, it um, it's amazing Emo emotions and, and and it's funny because oftentimes I get caught in these like highs and lows. I think it's been like two years of just like being this really emotional, moody person and just sort of understanding my personal triggers and understanding the people that I attract. You know because you know attracting these controlling people, it's like then you start to realize that your freedom's limited, that you can't do what you want to do, that that person might be trying to change you, that person might not be. You might be trying to change them too, though. It can be on the opposite side. You can be the person that's um, the aggressor, sort of, in this situation. Um, it's being true to yourself, though, always, and not having to force your will upon anyone else or having anyone else's will forced upon yourself. It's, it's very um, connected to emotions because oftentimes we can take on the emotions and feelings of others as well as the wishes of them too and internalize that and so how do we react to that internalization of, of what has been uh, what has what has occurred to our consciousness at that point the, in, the invasion of our consciousness by the energy and the emotions of another so how do we internalize this and how do we relate and, and what emotions are thus created within us as, as a result of this emotional state uh, of the other energy spirit being of love uh, it's perceptional experience so you can take a certain perception so I can say this person is trying to control me and say okay I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna and it's gonna work for me and whatever lesson you learn with that or you can say no I'm not I'm gonna step away I'm gonna be myself and at that moment whatever you choose that's that's your path you're going with and you can always leave of course you can always change now things can be harder of course because of course once you get yourself in a situation the more tied down you get the harder it gets uh, t t to break loose of course but uh, just stay in the present moment and just always be true to yourself and honor yourself is what I tell most of my friends honor yourself always um, it's truly amazing <laughs> the whole experience of it all yeah definitely. and so um, back to this uh, emotional state 
and how it relates to us. So we internalize these emotions based on other people, sort of our reactions to what other people do to us or say to us, or the em reactions of, 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 us, of us vibrating with the energy of another person, essentially. All interactions, just energy vibrations uh, meshing together, really. And how do you take control of your emotions? That's the secret. I suppose you could buy a sacral chakra singing bowl and play it, but uh, or you could just say Vam, which is the you know the sacral chakra mantra, Vam. Or you could even just live and experience and just see how it happens. You know, just go go with the flow of life and see what it takes what it takes it, and and just trust source. Trust that you're always protected in whatever you do, so you can go on a limb. You can. You don't have to be tied down by your emotions. Be that empowered person that's conscious and aware of what's happening at the moment, but it's not uh, identifying the the moment. Simply just experiencing and observing the moment as it passes. So observe how you feel to a certain reaction and how you perceive a certain situation or a certain interaction with another person, and utilize that to your consciousness so you know okay do I like this do I not do I need to react this way or not or do I need to do I need to get mad at this honestly can I just step outside of myself and just see it for the way it is and I think that once you start to take these measures of just depersonalizing everything not taking everything so personally not letting that ego take over not thinking that everything's out to get you so much just a little wee speck of bit. You're just a, you're just a, an itty bit of energy dust running around. It's it. So it's not that serious. <laughs> We're just random combustions of energy that's totally randomized though, but not even. It's amazing. Randomized atoms of, <laughs> of random energy. Amazing. But, uh, Thank you for checking out the show. Um, we're going to conclude just to say that, you know, just know that you're connected, know that you're protected at all, and know that you don't have to react in a certain situation at all, and that you can have complete power over anything. Um, know who you are. Know what affects you. Know how you react. Understand why you react. Understand why you perceive a certain way. Perceive as much. Experience everything you can because you're simply source experiencing itself at the core, individually. So this is your individual experience. Utilize it and be that empowered person. You have every opportunity in your life to it. <sighs> Just be happy. So uh, thank you um, so much for this. So, so thank you for checking out the show. Uh, have a good one. Peace, love. Peace, love, and light to you.